What's going on, everyone? Happy Friday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. Today, we're going to talk about something that people are tired of hearing about. Well, we kind of do that every time we do an update, don't we? But this in particular, which a lot of people don't like hearing about, yes, these lovely devices right here. N95 mask. We'll be opening this in a minute. There has been legislation yesterday. Yes, once again, COVID has turned political. I'm so sick and tired of COVID turning political, but again, it has. The Senate has passed legislation that on the federal level, there cannot be federal mask mandates, you know, in the federal settings, uh, especially in transportation. That's one place that really bothers me the most. More on that in a second. But yes, once again, they have made it political. Meanwhile, as you and I know, and my channel's not about politics, but just for a brief second here, we got to say, there's a lot of other political things going on out there. You know, over in Congress, we haven't resolved the potential shutdown yet. There's, you know, a lot of stuff going on around the world right now, but yet they feel it's their best interest that they're doing us a service by putting a ban on mandating these. Now, you can still wear masks anywhere you go. I mean, stores or anything, but on the federal level, they cannot mandate you to wear one. And that to me is a problem. Let's talk about transportation. Let's flash back to around 2008 or so. You know, I was still in high school and whatnot, but I had a summer internship job, believe it or not, a really good one, uh, down in downtown Philadelphia. It was actually a pretty good job. Anywho, the point is I would have to take the commuter train, the regional rails, it's called here, except that that's the transportation agency here in southeast Pennsylvania. And I would take the train into town. Now, as you know, if you're on mass transit, if you have ever, you're even gone on a plane or anything, all walks of life come on mass transit. All different ages, all types of people. Maybe you encounter someone that's sick once in a while, especially now that we're in the COVID times and we're still in the COVID times. You know, you may encounter someone that is sick. Now, for granted, this was, quote, a summer job, so I didn't see as many, you know, interact with as many sick people on transit as I would have in the winter time. But, you know... Now that we're in the COVID times, there's going to be a lot of people coughing and hacking and sneezing that may be sick as now that we're headed into winter, more so than the summer. But remember, COVID has four seasons, summer, winter, fall, spring, you know, COVID can last all year round, but the highest levels of COVID is coming up in the winter. And yet our leaders feel they're doing us a service and it's on both sides of the aisle. Because apparently some Democrats even voted on this too. It's, it's, it's just ridiculous. To no longer mandate this simple safety tool. This, this is an N95 mask. They're like, oh, sorry. We cannot enforce you to wear that anymore. Nope. It's up to you. But as we know, one-way masking does not always work. And it is so simple to put one of these on. I'm going to show you. You rip it up out of the bag. You take the one strap like that, my hair's a little bit long. Can you tell we're in a pandemic? I haven't gotten a haircut. <laughs> and you put it on like that. You make sure you have a tight fit around you. And it's that simple. It's a simple safety precaution. But they want to make it so that it cannot be mandated that you have to wear one. Even if the cases go really high. And we know there's lots of different... Um, Things that could happen if you get COVID. You could get long COVID. Heck, deaths are still occurring. There were 1,500 deaths last week. Let me take this off. 15, over 1,500 deaths last week. Almost 1,600. And meanwhile, they're trying to normalize this as much as possible. Move on. Put restrictions on uh, any safety mandates. It's ridiculous. Safety protocols, they are still needed. They're not saying you can't wear a mask anymore, but... They're saying you can't be forced to wear a mask anymore. And quite frankly, that should be left up to local leadership. If levels are ridiculously high in one community, 
the local government should have the power to say, hey, numbers are getting really bad in such and such area. I'll just I'll just use Philadelphia, for example. Numbers are really high, and you know what? To help slow down the spread, to help keep people safe, we need you to start wearing a mask again. We're going to have to mandate this for a while. We're going to have to put a safety protocol back in place. I hate that word mandate. It's really a safety, a safety enforcement. We're going to have to put this back in so we can get the levels back down again and keep people safe because now as time goes on, we're learning that there are more and more consequences from a COVID infection. I mean, it's that simple. Leave it up to the local level. This should not be something that's being dealt with down in Washington on a full nationwide federal level in the Senate. Come on. I mean, we're talking about safety protocols here. It's ridiculous. I mean, do people, do these people enjoy getting reinfected? Because there are several people in the political world that have now been infected three times. And there's a couple that now have long COVID. I think one did admit to it. I forget what his name was. Leave it down below because I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, thanks a lot, long COVID. Uh, but, I mean, we are finding out now that repeat infections increase your risk of all kinds of health problems. So, wearing a mask, which is really simple, as you just saw, can help prevent you from getting repeat COVID infections. So let me get down to the bottom of it. What I'm asking for you today is speak out. Tell them, hey, I'm not going to stand for this. Uh, we need safety measures for when things get bad. If you have to write to your local congressman or senator, then by all means, do that. Leave them a phone call. Tell them that you're outraged by this new... Uh, what is it? Ban on federal mass mandates, I guess we could call it. Whatever it is. The ban at the federal level, transportation, whatever. Tell them that this is ridiculous and that we still need to be able to, you know, enforce these when things get bad again. Right now, we're at the changing period. The winter wave's coming in. A lot of people are going to be traveling for Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all these different holidays that are going to be coming up. People are going to be traveling for those holidays, and they're going to be mixing and mingling with a lot of people. During that time period, we know it wouldn't it wouldn't have happened anyhow, but there should be mask enforcements during those periods to help keep people safe. This you do you is utter bullcrap. You do you does not work. You do you gets a lot of people infected. It gets them hurt. A COVID, in fact, we are at war with this virus. Let's just face it. Right now, we are at war with this virus still. It is still out there. And it's something that is really bad. But meanwhile, they're trying to normalize it. And they're trying to forget that it even exists. And it's just totally ridiculous. And that is what has me fed up this week. And it should have you fed up as well that they are not doing more to try and slow this virus because we know 10 years from now uh, things are not going to be all that good because again we have not controlled this and again we're letting it go out of control which means it continues to mutate all because we can't do one simple safety protocol mask I mean it's, it's just totally ridiculous there should be a company, a business, an airline, anywhere should have the right to enforce masks when levels are bad and they're taking that away. And quite honestly, I hate to even say this, I'm worried it's not going to stop there. What if they tell you, um, well, you got to go to the bank, which, you know, a lot of people do banking mobile now, but they're saying, oh, well, crime is really up. Uh, you're not allowed to wear a mask in a bank anymore. Uh, crime is really up. You're not allowed to wear a mask in a grocery store anymore. Is it going to come to that? I don't know. It could. It could. And guess what? We're not going to stand for I'm not going to stand for it. If it comes to that, I will continue to wear a mask. Because it is the right thing to do. Alrighty. That does it for my little editorial moment here, I guess you could call it. 
on what is really bugging me this week. I can't believe that legislation even passed. It's totally ridiculous. I thought we cared more about each other, but apparently our political leaders do not, and this is where we're at. Alrighty, folks, we will have a pandemic update again in the near future, probably tomorrow. I don't think it's going to be today. I will see you all again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone. Continue to mask up. Do what you have to do to keep yourself safe. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you want more content like this, subscribe down below. If you're not anyone that needs to see this content, by all means, share this with them. Have a fantastic Friday. Stay safe, my friends. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.